Hey guys, George at Soundtracks. This week, we're gonna talk a little bit about our Steam Decoder, and we're gonna focus on one of the many settings that you have to adjust this and select the sounds to match your locomotive. So let's get started. Now, when it comes to selecting the sound profile for your locomotive, everybody knows about the whistle and the bell. But one of the very characteristic sounds that you hear on a regular basis out of the locomotive is the air compressor. Now, granted, we're talking about air brake equipped locomotives. So if you're modeling back in 1860, then those actually did not have air compressors. And so in this case, to build the profile, you would take the air compressor volume and set it to zero. So that way you can actually take that out of your model's operation. But when it comes to some of the more contemporary steam locomotives, you have air brakes. And on the, on the locomotive, you're actually going to find an air compressor. So on this locomotive, it's actually located right here. Now, when we look at the sound selection reference on our website at soundtracks.com, you can see that we actually have 10 choices, including a vacuum pump. Now this is a mix of single phase, cross compound, and then single and dual mixes of both, so that that way you can match your model. So on this particular locomotive here, we have a cross compound. And the cross compound is basically, it looks like two cylinders, and the steam pressure actually cycles the compressor, and in there it compresses the air, and then sends it out through the pipes to cool, and then into the reservoir air tanks along, so that it's there to be used for the air brake system. Now, as we've been talking, you can hear that slow cadence of the air compressor, and you can select this. So we're gonna change and select some different ones. So in CV number 124, we're gonna go ahead and select a single phase. So we're gonna set CV 124 to a value of zero. So now when you hear the air compressor, you actually will hear a different sound. And this is a single phase. So the single phase is just a single cylinder that the steam pressure works to compress the air. Now, one of the things that's unique to the Soundtracks products, especially the Tsunami 2 and the Blue Nami, is that when you use the brakes more frequently, you can actually trigger the air compressor to cycle. And the reason for that is because when the air is being used out of the reservoir, it actually needs to be replenished. So what we're gonna do is just sitting still, we're gonna go ahead and apply the brakes a few different times. And now you can hear how that air compressor is working harder to cycle in and fill that air compressor. Now let's try a different sound. So we're going to go ahead and take CV number 124. And this time we're going to go ahead and try one of the different uh, cross compounds. So this one here we're going to use is cross compound number 2, which will be CV 124 to a value of 3. And you can hear how that compressor has changed. So again, let's go ahead and hit the brakes and cycle the compressor. And you can kind of hear how it's cycling. And again, these are just different sounds. So again, let's take CV124. We're going to go ahead and set it to one of the ones we get questions a lot, and it's called the dual whistling air compressors. Now this compressor is what you would hear typically on the Southern Pacific cab forwards. Uh, and we call it whistling because the air compressor, when the steam is being run through and the air is compressed, it doesn't go through a muffler, it just naturally aspirates into the air. So in this case, CV124 is going to equal a value of 6. And you can hear how that's significantly different. And you've got, like I said, you have diff 10 different choices in this decoder to select the one that's going to match your model. Now the last thing is when you're backing up to your train and you're going to tie into the train, typically at that point the conductor will then connect the air hose and tie into the train brake. Now when you turn on the train brake, which is function 12, you're actually going to hear the compressor start cycling as it's working to charge the train line. So right now you hear it as trigger occasionally as it's maintaining the air pressure level, but when we go ahead and turn on our train brake mode, now you can hear how it's working to cycle to charge the train line. Now we've talked about this in other videos that we've talked about brakes, but in, in the real world this may take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how long the train is. 
In model train time, it takes 30 seconds. And once the compressor has charged the train line, you'll hear that cadence go back to a more of a maintaining pressure uh, uh, cadence. Be sure to visit our website and check out the steam, the diesel, and the electric Tsunami 2 user's guides.